$175,000? As a matter of fact, I think he might be able to help. Just don't know if I have the strength to do it, Lord. And I think you'll make a great head deacon, too. Maybe in a year or two, maybe assistant pastor. It's just another confirmation that it's time for me to go. I've come up with some very, very creative ways of dodging that old gal. She'll be here in about 30 minutes. I'm wondering, can you help me find Pastor Jenkins? Mabel Wright, you sneaky pastor. I've known him for a long time and I know he'll do right by me. And he'll do right by us too, Mary, if you come with me. But I'm fairly certain that once you come on board, most of your congregation will come over with you. You know, especially the givers, man. Now, I know Timmonson promised me the head deacon job, but I don't know if the job is mine yet. And how is that any different than what you've been trying to do? What about talking to Pastor McKnight? I don't know, Mary. I don't know. You know, if you go over into the book of 2 Corinthians, it's over there, too. Ooh, you're right. Mm -hmm. And it's a goodie, too. Good stuff. Oh, got a buzz. Got a phone call coming in. Excuse me a second. Gina. Uh, hello. Mm-hmm. Well, you know that's going to end the peace and quietness of this day. Mm-hmm. And may I ask why you didn't want to be the one to tell her? Right. Okay. Well, you know I'm going to get you back for this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, let's have it. Which one of my tormentors is on the way in? <laughs> Carmelita Pavarelli Schwartz. Bert. <laughs> yeah, let's solve this. Now, uh, 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 put that thing back on. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. I've been thinking about this very moment for a while now. And it dawned on me, in a moment of sheer genius, I might add, mm. that you could assist my escaping, so. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. You're not putting me in the middle of this one. No, ma'am. Put, put you in the, me? Put you in the middle, moi? Moi. Well, now, having said that, it does dawn on me. It does occur to me. I just thought of the fact that you were the one that asked to be my assistant. So right now, I need assistant, so. Let's go into my office for a little moment. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, 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 ma'am, no, 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 oh yeah, no, oh yeah, no, oh yeah, mm -mm. no, no. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, a rat. <gasps> now, 
What I want you oh, to do is you are, oh, not. Oh, it's not going to take but a second no. or two. We're just going to get you right in. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, right in that. I refuse. See, no. we just put this right here. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. Excuse me, have you seen Pastor Lynn? I checked in the office, but she wasn't there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you kidding me? I knew I made a mistake, a big mistake. And you knew right. You have no idea who's about to walk through these doors. No, but I know who's about to walk out of them. Well, you better make it quick before Lynn gets you in one of these get-ups, too. That's not going to happen. Man, there's no end to how big of a nut house this place has become. Hold on, what's going on, Lamar? Now she's got the assistant pastor dressed as a scullery maid. Oh, in, my Lord! In the sanctuary. You laughing? Yeah, I'm done. It's official. I'm out of here. Hold man. on. Wait a minute, Lamar. Let's go over here. We can talk about it for a minute. No, thank you. I'm done talking, Deacon. Okay, you don't talk. You just listen, and I'll do all the talking. Yeah, I'm sure you probably can explain all the nuttiness that's going on in this place. <laughs> well, from the looks of it, only Pastor Lynn probably will come up with something like this. You know, only her. You think? Yeah. So you think it's funny, huh? Yes, I do. But Lamar, what in the world ever happened to your sense of humor? You used to laugh a whole lot when you were younger. Yeah, when I was younger, Pat's a nutso wasn't the pastor. And there was some sense of sanity around this place. No, you can't blame that on her because I haven't seen you laugh in years. Well, when I grew older, I realized my father was the head deacon and my mother the mother of the church. So I had to become more serious. No, I don't buy that. And I don't either. Now, I've heard stories about your mama from Mama Scott, and I heard that she was quite the character, a trickster. And so I'm thinking her and Pastor Lynn would have made the perfect pair. Yeah, they would have had this whole entire place laughing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they probably would have. You know, I still miss her. Hey, you remember the story about the goldfish? Yeah. <laughs> and it still makes me laugh to this day. Me too. Oh, man, now you all are making me embarrassed. But I was only 10 years old. Of course I got upset when my goldfish died. <laughs> all right, go on and laugh. But I was really attached to that little fish. And so everything happened the day before Easter? Yeah, it happened on Resurrection Sunday. Mama said that special things happen on Resurrection Sunday. Mm. And so it did. Yeah, so it did. I came home from church, and there was my little fish in its tank. But it wasn't exactly your fish, right? <laughs> so this is, the, this is my question. Where did your mama find a goldfish the night before Easter? Well, <laughs> <laughs> she borrowed it from your cousin Betsy, didn't she? Rumor is, only one problem. Cousin Bessie's fish was twice the size of my fish. <laughs> and it had a black spot on the top of its head. Tell him how, how she explained it. <laughs> Mama said, since he had been in the presence of the Lord since he had died, the Lord's glory had made him swell up. <laughs> <laughs> and the black spot on his head? The black spot was his heavenly crown. Wow. <laughs> and you bought it. I know, hook, line, and sinker. But I was only 10. Wow, you know what? That sounds exactly like something Pastor Lynn would do. <laughs> you know, it's hard taking you seriously when you're in a dressed up in a get up like that. Okay, lady and gentlemen, seriously. I heard your meeting with Pastor Timonson didn't go as well as you planned. And maybe we've caused you to reconsider the way you've been thinking. And maybe you need to consider that your mama prayed for Pastor Lynn to come here to make you laugh again. Her little boy laugh again. <laughs>